It's Monday, November 29th, and you are watching Kitco News. This week will prove to be very busy in terms of key economic data coming out in the U.S. It all starts tomorrow with house prices, the Chicago PMI, and consumer confidence. We later roll into Wednesday when we'll see construction spending numbers, car sales, and ADP employment figures. Uh, Chairman Bernanke is also scheduled to speak on Wednesday. And joining me today to talk about the week's outlook is George Giro of RBC Capital Markets. George, thanks for joining us today. Uh, you mentioned to me that December 1st, Wednesday, will also be important for gold traders. Uh, in terms of gold, you're going to have first notice day on December 1st. That means that if you have not moved uh, your positions out of the December futures contracts in silver, gold, and copper, you will be paying full margin on December 1st, um, whether you're long or short. If you're long, you have to um, pay full margin and be prepared to take delivery. If you're short, you have to put up a lot of cash and or make delivery uh, as of December 1st when first notice day hits. So Wednesday could be important. Wednesday could be a big day, but it seems to me like the um, spread rollovers are going uh, in high volume and in a very orderly way. And George, you know, big news this weekend, Ireland receiving that $113 billion rescue package and tensions continuing between North and South Korea. How will this impact the precious metals? It could be bullish for gold. Normally, it would be bullish for gold, except that um, there has been an awful lot of uh, uh, yen, dollar, uh, euro uh, trades um, with gold in between and uh, possibly even silver, uh, although silver is holding up pretty well. Uh, but people are kind of evening out to wait to see what happens with the bailout out of Ireland. Of course, you have more fluctuations than you would normally have on a day like today, and especially with the stock market down triple digits, normally you would have a better uh, gold market today also, except that at this time, uh, people seem to be just taking money off the table for now. So, George, November proved to be quite volatile for the precious metals. As we head into December, what's, what's the landscape? December, I thought about a 12, uh, 1320 support area and a 1375 um, uh, resistance point, and that's been uh, pretty much what was going on in the last couple of days. I think that could continue because as the year end approaches, there'll be a lot of funds that need to even out uh, their positions uh, for year end purposes. Don't forget, in the United States, you have marked to the market. Uh, taxation, so you will pay um, taxes on unsold positions if they're in the money. Okay, thank you so much, George, and thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Kiko News for all your precious metals information.